Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you. We rejoice in the goodness of the Lord. If you are here for the first time, welcome. Thank you so much for joining this family and I can't wait to see what God has for you. So you are in the right place. You will find inspiration, motivation, prophetic word of God, how to fast and sharing testimonies of the goodness of the Lord. Take time to subscribe and be sure to click that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I post a new video. God is expanding whatever is in your hands. There is an expected increase, an expected miracle. God has one for you. This is a word of encouragement from your sister today. I thank God for this opportunity and privilege to share it with you. God will never send you away without anything. He is not going to send you out of his presence empty-handed. He always answers prayer. As long as you are asking in faith, he will do it. He is a faithful father. And today I want to encourage you to know that every day you sit before Jesus to worship him. He sees all that faithfulness. Your prayers are not in vain and you are not going to go out of his presence empty-handed. I want to help you today with what you can do because I know you are doing the right things you are praying and you're fasting. On this channel, we talk a lot about strategies and weapons we can use against the enemy, which is fasting and the blood of Jesus, the name of Jesus. God has given us his word. We are using all that to our advantage. There are also other things that you can add to that to enhance your prayer life. And this is to surrender. I can sense that there's a lot of weariness and discouragement but you have to know that our God is faithful. In the bad times and in the good, God is always faithful and he comes at the right time. Take courage, continue going forward because whatever you are doing today is taking you closer to your breakthrough. I want you to take a moment and say, Lord, give me the courage. Give me strength in the walk with you because it's not by strength nor by might, but it is by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit of the living God gives us strength. You cannot walk with the Lord in your own strength. Let's look at how you can sit before the King and receive your miracle and receive that answer, your desire. Let's look at Matthew 14 and verse 15 to 21. I'm not going to read all the verses, but I'll pick one or two and uh, let's see what God is saying. Verse 15 says, That evening the disciples came to him and said, There's a remote place and it's already going late. Send the crowds away so they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. But Jesus said, That isn't necessary. You feed them. Let me stop there for a moment. The evening came, which represents darkness, a hard situation and sometimes helplessness, there's no light. The disciples, instead of feeding these people, they went to Jesus and said, send this crowd away because it's getting late. Let them go to a remote place where they can find food. And Jesus said, it won't be necessary. You need to feed them. Jesus expected the disciples to perform a miracle, to find food for this crowd, which was to multiply five loaves of bread, and the two fish. When Jesus is present, he comes with a miracle. The provider is present. The provider is with you. Jesus Christ is there to increase whatever is in your hands, to multiply it. It may look small right now, whatever it is. Jesus is saying it's not necessary for you to leave and go somewhere else. Where Jesus is, there's abundance, more than enough. There's multiplication and increase. When other people will be sending you away, Jesus says it won't be necessary. You won't go empty-handed. And when you go further, you will see that Jesus told the crowd to sit down. And that's where the miracle happened. Hallelujah. When you sit down before Jesus, that's when the miracle happens. That's where all that you desire is manifested. What looked so little became much because of sitting down before the king. I want to tell you that you continue to sit down before Jesus. 
Continue to take your prayer requests to God. Continue to do what you are doing, praying and seeking the Lord. Don't get tired. Don't say, ah, I've heard this enough. I've heard a lot of praying and fasting. And why is my life not changing? Continue to sit before Jesus. Because where he is, that's where your miracle is. These people were not going to be fed if Jesus was not there. It shows clearly that the disciples didn't even think that a small lunch would have turned into a miracle like that. There's more than enough for you because Jesus is present. Your father owns the whole universe. The entire world belongs to God. Whatever is missing in your life, he says, sit down. Sit down before me because I want to sort it out. Obedience. The crowd obeyed. They sat down and they received their miracle. And they didn't go out of that place empty-handed. Hallelujah. The provider was present. There's no way you can go out of God's presence empty-handed. When you are seeking the Lord, can he send you empty-handed? Whatever is in your hands, God says, bring it to me and I'm going to increase it. He is going to multiply whatever looks little. What is it you are looking for? What is it in your hands that is not enough? Is it the courage, motivation? Is it the fruit of the womb? Is it your spiritual growth, your children's excellence, provision, that promotion? What is that painful situation that looks impossible right now? The provider is with you. He's right there with you. And he says, sit down. Obedience, sit before the king and you will be lifted. You will go out of his presence filled up with more than enough. The food was so much that 12 baskets were collected after everyone had eaten. More than 5,000 people were fed because the miracle worker was present. Jesus is the miracle worker. You are looking for a miracle for that situation to turn around? He is present. He's the deliverer, the blesser, the king of kings. The kingdom of God talks about kings only. We are all kings. Women too sit before the Lord. Continue sitting before him. That quiet time is not in vain. Waking up to pray. Wow, your body is so tired. It's not in vain. We are not only worshiping God because we want blessings and miracles. We are following him because he's savior. He has saved us. He is the king of kings. He's coming soon. And everything that we have been following and chasing after will remain here on earth. The best miracle is salvation. And we have it. If you are not saved yet, you have to confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior because you don't want to miss heaven while chasing the things of the world. The Bible says, what will it profit a man to gain the whole world but lose his own soul? You don't want to miss heaven because you are chasing after money, chasing the blessing only and leaving the blesser. He is the deliverer. Are you bound? Are you in chains? Do you feel your life is stagnated and you are not moving forward? Jesus is the one who is able to break every chain. He has the key of heaven and hell. And because the king is present in your situation, that situation has to turn around. It has to turn around for your good. It's never late. The disciples said, it's late now. These people must go. It was late and these people were going to go empty-handed, hungry. The blesser is here. The provider, King Jesus, is here. And he says, I'm not going to, to send you empty-handed. Don't think that situation is too late for God to correct it. Don't think that marriage has been broken for too long and he cannot restore it. Don't think that your financial situation has gone too deep into debt and Jesus cannot correct it. He is the restorer. He knows how to bring things together. What you've lost is able to bring it in an instant. All he's looking for is your faith. Where is your heart? Don't gain everything else and miss heaven. You want to enjoy both. While you are here on earth, having your prayers answered and heading to heaven. So make sure that your heart is right too as you pray for that situation to turn around. The Savior, Redeemer, and Provider is with you. He says, sit down. I want to give you the desires of your heart. There's nothing God cannot do. That situation is changing right now in the name of Jesus. 
thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed yet take time to subscribe and i thank you so much for all the comments and likes if you have any testimony share it on this channel may the lord bless you i'll see you in the next one bye for now